Hello, and thank you for joining us as we discuss Module 2, Minding the Gap for the Kentucky Academic Standards for Social Studies. My name is Lauren Galicchio. And I'm Heather Ransom. And we are here to talk you through this module and how it might be useful as you start thinking about the professional learning needs of teachers within your school or district. In this session, you will learn more about the Minding the Gap module and how this module can meet the needs in schools of districts. Module two is really about evaluating your social studies program. What are the needs of the students and teachers who will engage with the Kentucky Academic Standards for Social Studies? And how do you get your social studies program to meet the needs of the Kentucky Academic Standards for Social Studies? This might be a module that you might want to consider in terms of summer work um, as you're having your teachers think about what might you know your social studies program need in trying to meet the depth and rigor of the Kentucky Academic Standards for Social Studies. The essential question today is how might schools and districts utilize this module in their implementation plans? Are there parts of your social studies program that are hitting maybe one standard, two standard, a couple of standards several times, but, being, but maybe not hitting another standard at all? This module will help you figure that out. And like we said, evaluate your social studies program. So to access uh, resources to that support impl implementation of the CAS for social studies, you can go to kystandards.org. This is the screen that you'll see when you pull up that website. And you can see there um, that you can click on to explore your resources. Um, so for uh, at the top in the blue icons, there's the general resources. And then below, you'll see the content area resources. And social studies is that yellow icon. So you would click that. And then under the professional learning modules, you'll see module two, um, minding the gap. And uh, there, there are three different yellow tabs here that you can click on to see the different parts of the module. The first tab will bring you to the facilitator's guide um, that will help you in being able to share uh, this module with your with staff. And then the minding the gap module slides is the next tab. And then below that is the at a glance, which just gives a summary of the different parts and different components of the module. So then there's also a, uh, like I said, the facilitator's guide is that first tab that you would click on. So um, you, this facilitator guide uh, looks like uh, the image that you see on the right. It'll have the facilitator notes that um, will help you walk you through being able to present this with uh, maybe members of a PLC or with your staff. And then on the right, it shows the slides that accompany that script. And in the Mining the Gap module, here is an overview of it. There are essentially uh, several sections. The first one, 2A, is understanding the progression. So it takes you and your staff um, or just teachers in your PLC through the Kentucky Academic Standards for Social Studies, the actual document to make sure you understand the progressions that are found in that and how your PLC might be able to use that in order to um, strengthen and enhance your social studies program. Module, the second part 2B, has a section called Unpacking the Standards. Uh, we're gonna look at this more in just a little bit in depth in just a second, but that section is really about unpacking the standards, breaking down a standard and then seeing where it appears in your social studies program. Module 2C talks about mapping the standards to current practice. That's where you really look at um, where does that standard fall within the current practice. Um, module 2D identifies the gaps and overlaps in the standards. So kind of like what we said earlier, are there places where you're hitting maybe a couple of standards a lot, but then maybe your program is missing out on some of the other standards? How do you account for those um, differences and those discrepancies? And module 2E is bridging the gaps. And it provides a system where your PLC, your school, your staff can go through and figure out ways to build those, you know, to uh, basically build the bridges across those gaps that you found as you're evaluating your social studies program. So the goals of the Minding the Gap module are to build a shared understanding of the cast for social studies progressions and grade level expectations. It is recommended if you pay attention to our implementation guide that you follow this module follows the module one getting to know the cast for social studies because you have to have a good understanding of the document before you engage in understanding and evaluating your social studies program. 
The yeah. next bullet says to begin to map the expectations of the CAS for social studies to current practice and curriculum. Identify gaps and overlaps between the CAS for social studies and current practice and curricula. Identify and prioritize the gaps that exist and consider available curriculum resources, time allocation for each content area, and any additional solutions to eliminate gaps. And then finally, it requires that you create a proposed plan of action to successfully implement the 2019 CAS for Social Studies and to close gaps. One of the really important components of this module two is the section entitled Unpacking the Standards. Um, if you've paid attention to maybe some of the other content areas such as mathematics and reading and writing, you might have noticed that they had a separate tool for breaking down a standard. Within the Mining the Gap module, module two for the CAS for Social Studies, our breaking down a standard tool is actually found within this module because when you break down the, the standard within social studies, you will obviously try to break down and try to figure out what the standard means and we'll talk about this tool, um, but then it's also larger than just figuring out what does the standard mean. It's really about looking at your overall social studies program and where does that standard occur? Um, are there again, like we talked about times and maybe that standard is hit a lot within your curriculum and your pacing guides, but maybe other standards are not. This is an example of one part of the tool. Um, so the first part talks about the standard. Um, it, it goes through unpacking the standards of what knowledge, concepts, vocabulary do students need to know to reach the standard. It then talks about what skills do students need to be able to do in order to reach the standard, and what level of proficiency do students need to be at in order to reach the standard. When going through and utilizing this tool within social studies, it is required that you go back through and you look at some of the, upper, the other sub a supplementary material that we have for this standard. So you would look at those disciplinary clarifications. And then again, you would take this knowledge of what you know, what you learned from unpacking the standard to then look at your overall social studies program and see what kind of larger adjustments need to be made. So our unpacking the standards tool is actually embedded within this module to help um, teachers and PLCs um, to go through and look at your overall social studies program and to see how it is aligned to the needs of the CAS for social studies. Okay, so some key features that are found in this uh, Minding the Gap module. There are pre-recorded vo voiceovers for communicating a common message. There are proposal examples on how to address gaps. There are reflection questions throughout that prompt thinking about gap analysis. And then as Lauren just discussed, there's that tool for breaking down a standard. And then the resources that are provided within the module are the PowerPoint, the facilitator's guide, paths to apply learning, and then the planning tool to fill the gaps and the tools to identify the gaps in your program. So thank you so much for joining us. If you have any additional questions about this module or just any other questions for social studies in general, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our email address is there on the screen, kdesocialstudies at education.ky.gov. Thank you.